Graduates and guests, joining us today to recognize and honor our graduating class of 2023 are distinguished guests and leaders from our college and university. Larry Martinez, Grand Marshal. Alejandro Rojas Ibanez, Associated Student Senator. Isaac Julian, President, CEO of Associated Students. Kurt Brower, President, CSULB Alumni Council. Amy Cabrera Rasmussen, Chair, Political Science. Sophia Pandya, Chair, Religious Studies. Lori Baralt, Chair, Women's, Gender and Sexuality Studies. Seiji Steimetz, Interim Associate Dean. Dan O'Connor, Associate Dean. Deborah Thien, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. Shauna McKeever, University Council. Jeffrey D. Cook, AVP Strategic Communications, Chris Fowler, Chief of Staff, Min Yao, Vice President, Information Technology, Daniel Montoya, Vice President, University Relations and Development, Scott Appel, Vice President, Administration and Finance, Beth Lesson, Vice President, Student Affairs, Karen Sism Gunn, Provost and Senior Vice President of Academic Affairs, Jane Close Connolly, President, California State University, Long Beach.
In 2018, the university has adopted a new alma mater with lyrics by Christian Valdez and music by Kyle Gabriel. Composed when both were students in the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. To sing it for you today, please welcome Natalie Gonzalez, also a graduate of the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. And now, please welcome the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Deborah Thien. President Connolly, honored guests, members of the faculty, relatives, and friends of the graduates, and the class of 2023. I welcome you to the 73rd annual commencement celebration of California State University, Long Beach. I'm Dr. Deborah Thien, the new dean of the biggest, and we like to think the best college on campus, the College of the Liberal Arts. The College of the Liberal Arts, or the CLA as we like to say, offers a multitude of majors, minors, and certificates. We have hundreds of faculty members and, and staff who are there to support our more than 10,000 students. Yes, 10,000 students, I said we were big. You, our students, are at the center of everything we do. 
and I'm delighted to be here today to honor you, the 1,500 graduating CLA students, in my first commencement season as dean. <clears throat> I know today is a monumental first for you too. How many of you are first college graduate in your family? I was a first college, first generation to college student too. And I know how incredibly hard you worked to get here. You did it and you did it through a global pandemic. You believed it and you achieved it. And I can feel the beach pride. As we begin the ceremony today, I would like to acknowledge the Tongva, Gabrielino, and the Ashima and Waneño nations as the original stewards and traditional caretakers of the land where Cal State Long Beach is located. It's been my honor to work at Pavagna, a sacred site known as the gathering place to the Tongva and other Southern Californian Indian peoples. I am truly grateful that we are here together in this space today, honoring the class of 2023. I wish our number was one greater. Jacob Rubeska is being awarded a posthumous Bachelor of Arts degree in history. Jacob continues the family tradition. Mom Rosie Brubeska is also a Beach alum. Jacob's family is here in the stadium and our hearts are with them as we honor Jacob. We've all had support from family, friends, faculty, mentors, and so many more. If you have someone to, to thank, shout it out. I encourage you by the end of the day or even by the end of the ceremony to thank someone who helped you get here. Post your appreciation on social media. Pick up the phone and give them a call, an actual phone call. Tweet it, snap it, TikTok it, or go really old school and send a thank you card to someone special who couldn't be here. Share this day, share your achievement. Representation matters. Share your gratitude with those who helped you reach this moment. I'm surrounded on this stage by people who helped us all get here. I want to acknowledge our esteemed faculty grand marshal, Professor Emeritus Larry Martinez of Political Science. I want to acknowledge the chairs and directors from the college's departments and our CLA associate deans also here on the platform today. And I want to acknowledge the several students that are representing today, from award winners to student government senators. Alejandro Rojas Ibanez, I see you. Isaac Julian, I see you. We are all here to celebrate you. Graduates, class of 2023, you have earned your degree in the liberal arts tradition a tradition that values critical thinking, that centers diverse perspectives, and fosters effective communication, ethical judgment and decision-making, and empathy. You have done internships. You've traveled abroad and learned languages. You've joined clubs and served your communities. You've worked on research projects and in classrooms, labs, and beyond with your professors and your peers. You've made the most of your time as Cal State Long Beach students, and we believe, we know, that you will make our society better as graduates. We are so proud to send you out into the world as the new ambassadors of the College of Liberal Arts, and we are so excited to see what you will do next. Now I would like to share a video with graduates and your supporters about CSULB. Our graduates know what a special and transformative place the beach is. This video captures the spirit of determination, creativity, and possibility that has characterized your journeys and that has permeated the beach for over 70 years.
It's my privilege today to introduce our university president, Jane Close Connolly. As the first woman to be appointed president of CSUOB, she has been an inspiration and a mentor to many, including me in my journey from, from professor to dean. From the moment she stepped on campus almost 10 years ago, she has engaged and activated the campus community. She saw us through the unprecedented times of the COVID-19 pandemic. She's been a champion of public higher education, and she has been a steadfast supporter of students. It is my honor to introduce the seventh president of California State University, Long Beach, Dr. Jane Close Connolly. Thank you very much, Dean Dean. You know, when I start thinking about what to say at commencement every year, the choices are endless because our campus is the source of countless stories, all written and enhanced by you. With two, three, four, or more years at the beach, many of you started in an analog world in which only 4% of our classes were taught remotely. And you've lived through a period when only about 4% of our classes were taught in person. What a turnaround, but yet you are here because of your resilience and because of supportive faculty and staff. You've seen it all. Thanks for sticking it out together. I can only imagine that there were times when you thought about throwing it all away because your internet didn't work or that remote class simply did not engage or that not coming to campus opened up other possibilities for you. Sticking with us, has allowed you, however, to fuel some pretty amazing beach facts since 2019 forward. For example, the Sharkarian Student Success Center, including the Bob Murphy Access Center, was completed just as some of you were arriving, and it has flourished in its mission because of all of you have used its services. Because of you, Cal State Long Beach is ranked number seven in the nation for awarding bachelor's degrees and number 13 in the nation for awarding master's degrees to Latinx students. I share these with you to congratulate you for being part of building this great university. You are all recipients of or the force behind these accolades. You all, like those before you, have been building a better beach for 74 years. And it's been noticed by others because we have the most undergraduate applications among the CSUs and rank about eighth nationally. So as you begin your next adventures, remember we're grateful to all of you for supporting the continuous improvement of your university. Students, I pledge that your alma mater will keep innovating as a way to add value to your degrees. We also pledge to be rooted in our values that are also perhaps yours. 
Diversity is our strength. The public good is our responsibility. Teaching, learning, and discovery are central to who we are and all we do. And finally, compassion, creativity, and innovation characterize our culture. If we can continue to live by those values, you'll be proud to call us your alma mater in the same way we are so proud of all that you've already accomplished and all we know you will create for the world. All good wishes for your next adventures and go beach. It's my great pleasure to introduce Kurt Brower, the president of the CSULB Alumni Council. Kurt is a CSULB graduate. He's the parent of a CSULB graduate. And he's been with the city of Newport Beach for over 30 years, currently serving as the senior buyer for the city, supervising the central warehouse, in addition to procuring goods and services for all 13 departments throughout the Orange County Municipal Government. Thank you, Dean Thien. And congratulations to the class of 2023. It is truly an honor to be here with you today as a Beach alum, an alumni parent, and a fellow human just trying to navigate our complicated world. I have a sense of what it take, took for all of you to get here. What you've accomplished is nothing short of extraordinary. And because it's been a number of years since my own graduation, I can also say with some certainty that your time at the beach has shaped your futures in more ways than you could have ever imagined. But you will discover that for yourselves in good time. For now, just know that as you receive your degrees today, you become part of an impressive and influential alumni community that is more than 365,000 members strong. These people, these previous generations of alumni, helped enrich your college experience, and I hope that when you are able, you will share your time and talents with the students who now come after you. I want to personally thank all of you who have already made your first financial contribution to the university as alums, as part of the 2023 class gift. I encourage you to stay connected to your alma mater in the ways that are most meaningful and rewarding to you. Fortunately, that's easier to do and much more enjoyable now that we have the extraordinary Anna W. Nye Alumni Center to come back to. Once again, on behalf of CSULB alumni, I would like to congratulate all of you, as well as your families and friends, on this truly incredible accomplishment. And remember, you will always have a home at the beach. As we like to say, the beach is for life. Thank you, go beach, go class of 2023. It is now my great pleasure to introduce Isaac Julian, President of CSULB Student Government, Associated Students Incorporated. Isaac is one of us. He's a CLA student. Isaac is double majoring in political science and English with a minor in communication studies. Isaac is also a first generation student like so many of us here today. As ASI president, he has advocated for and created programs such as the online student success initiative to help students succeed. He is also active in community service and assists those experiencing food and housing insecurity. Let's hear it for Isaac Julian. All right, thank you, Dean Thien. Um, and hello, Long Beach State. Let's make some noise. We did it. So my name is Isaac Julian, and as president of Associated Students Incorporated for the 2022-2023 academic year, it is an honor to serve and address you here at this commencement ceremony in celebration of your accomplishments. 
on behalf of ASI and student government, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the resilient class of 2023, as well as my gratitude to the dedicated faculty, staff, and administration who fostered our minds and souls. Thank you for all you continue to do. As a first generation student, I came to this university facing challenges of navigating higher education while balancing life responsibilities. Like some of you, I wanted to find belonging and community. If I'm being quite honest, however, I did not know where to start. I'm sure many of you resonate because many of you, like me, are first in your family to attend university. If that's not hard enough, we also had to endure something that no one else had to go through, a pandemic. Before the shutdown, it was difficult trying to find our footing to campus, but once we did, it was nearly impossible to find our way to campus resources, events, and connections. However, that didn't stop me from trying. I joined student government, and I'm proud to say that I have been able to serve my campus community during my four years in ASI. We were able to create programs such as the Online Student Success Program that helped provide some financial relief to our students during the pandemic. Through student advocacy and outreach and using your voices, we ensured that our grading system stayed the same, preventing pluses or minuses from being added. And this year, you all participated in one of our biggest projects yet, being able to re-envision our future student union, helping support students for generations to come. But those aren't the only accomplishments we have made. As graduates from the College of Liberal Arts, you put an incredible amount of effort into earning your degree, and you should feel immensely proud of your accomplishments. Each one of you had a different journey to get here, to this moment. Many of us face the obstacles of expressing our voice in a society that fails to recognize our point of view, on top of managing the delicate balance of work, school, and mental health. Despite the difficulties we had to endure here at Long Beach State, we learned the significance of resilience and strength in our community. And because of this, I have no doubt that every one of you has practiced perseverance and growth each day of earning your degree. You are ready for the world. As you embark on your next journey, I urge you to embrace the challenges you have overcome, drawing strength from them. Your experiences have shaped you into remarkable individuals that you are today and equipped you with a special set of skills. Now you are uniquely positioned to use these skills to make a difference in the world, however you choose. You hold the power to inspire change within your communities, neighborhoods, and cities. The world needs your voice, and I, for one, cannot wait to see what you accomplish. We must remember that your degree is not just a document, but a testament of your hard work and accomplishment. It represents the values and beliefs that you hold dear and the potential you must grow to learn in the world. This milestone is not the end, but rather a beginning of a new chapter full of endless opportunities to discover. You have already made your impact here at Long Beach State, and now it's time to honor all that you have achieved. Thank you for your dedication, class of 2023. Congratulations, you did it. Good afternoon, I am Seiji Steinmetz, Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. As someone who earned a master's degree from a California State University, it is my great honor to announce this year's master's award winners. Choosing these awardees must have been extremely difficult because all of our graduate students are exceptional. Over half of our grad students are first generation students. They will be the first in their families to earn an advanced degree. 38% are from minoritized populations. 54% are part-time students who juggle work, family, and other obligations and 100% are truly gifted scholars who epitomize student success at the beach. Please join me now in congratulating the 2023 Best Master's Thesis winners. Cameron Mayer in Geography for New West Tension and Threatened Species Protection, the Western Joshua Tree Conservation Debate in the Morongo Basin, California, supervised by Dr. Paul Laris. Guadalupe Baragan in English, Creative Writing, Emphasis in Fiction for Patient, supervised by Dr. Suzanne Greenberg. And Trong Pham in Psychology, Option in Psychological Research for Effectiveness of Dual Task Training on Future Falls, Fear of Falling, and Quality of Life, supervised by Dr. Young Hee Cho. Congratulations to these extraordinary scholars and to the dedicated faculty who mentor them would the winners please stand and be recognized?
We would now like to recognize the 2023 Dean's List of graduating masters, university scholars, and artists. The Dean's List is limited to only 1% of the students pursuing a master's degree. A nominee must show evidence of truly distinguished academic achievement in their chosen field, including superior research, scholarly or creative activities, publications, academic or professional awards, and or contributions to the university and community at large. Please join me now in congratulating the following students who have achieved this distinction. Amber Quintanilla in English. Guadalupe Baragan in English, Creative Writing, Emphasis in Fiction. Thomason Uluwole in Linguistics, Option in Language and Culture. Han Wen in Psychology, Option in Human Factors. Isabella Di Lauro, Psychology, Option in Psychological Research. And Eliezer Anaguer in Spanish. Will the winners please stand and be recognized? Once again, we would like to congratulate our award winners in CLA Graduate Studies. Go CLA and go Beach. When I started this Long Beach, I am Dan O'Connor, Associate Dean in the College of Liberal Arts. I am pleased to join Dean Thien and Associate Dean Steinmetz in congratulating all of today's graduates and their families. We are honored to recognize our 2023 Outstanding Baccalaureates for the College of Liberal Arts. We are here today honoring three outstanding students. Our first Outstanding Baccalaureate in the College of Liberal Arts goes to Diana Tan from the Department of Psychology. <laughs> Diana has not only maintained a high academic record, but also made extraordinary contributions both to her department and her outside academic research. Diana recently presented a first authored paper at the American Society of Criminology annual meeting and was a supplemental instructor for psychobiology one of the most difficult classes in her department. Under the mentorship of Dr. Courtney Ahrens, Diana was noted for her outstanding work ethic, reliability, and genuine interest in perfecting her skills. Next year, Diana will continue to work in Dr. Ahrens' lab at CSULB while applying to PhD programs. Congratulations, Diana. Our next outstanding baccalaureate comes from the Departments of International Studies and Romance, German, and R Russian Languages and Literatures. Nikki O'Brien not only held a perfect 4.0 GPA in one department, she had a perfect 4.0 GPA in two majors. She also studied abroad in France, where she perfected her fluency in French. Faculty who have taught her praise Nikki for going above and beyond in her assignments and in the classroom. Next year, Nikki will continue her work with Food Finders, a nonprofit organization in Long Beach dedicated to reducing food waste and hunger in the Southern California region as their new fund development intern. Congratulations, Nikki. <laughs> Lastly, our final outstanding baccalaureate recipient is Hui Fan from the Department of Linguistics. Hui Fan has demonstrated an accelerated course of learning that floored both his professors and his fellow classmates. As the only undergraduate in a graduate level course, Hui not only led class discussions and assisted other graduate students with their work, but earned a top grade in the class. Hui has also taken initiative in his groundbreaking McNair Scholars Project, and his abstract was recently accepted 
by the International Conference on Austro-Asiatic Languages. Next fall, Hui will be pursuing a PhD in linguistics at University of California, Santa Barbara. Congratulations, Hui. Would Diana, Nikki, and Hui please stand to be recognized, and would the audience please join me in congratulating them. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Karen Sism Gunn, our esteemed university provost and senior vice president of academic affairs. Since joining our campus in 2021, she has led the way with clarity and purpose. She will now join us to present our 2023 master's candidates to the president for degree conferral. Thank you, Dean Thien, and good afternoon, Beach family and friends. All right, let's make it official. Will the candidates from the class of 2023 master's degree please stand if you're able and remain standing to be recognized. Please stand. President Connolly, these candidates have satisfactorily completed all of the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degrees. Congratulations. Thank you, Provost Sism Gunn. Master's candidates, you have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and by your dean and your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the chancellor and the board of trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled the requirements of the appropriate master's degree with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated. Okay, CLA undergraduates, it is your turn to make it official. Will all of the candidates for the 2023 Bachelor of Arts please stand if able to do so and be recognized? <laughs> President Connolly. These candidates have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty to receive their degree. Bachelor's candidates, you have been recommended to me by the Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, by your Dean, and by your distinguished faculty. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the Chancellor and the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon each of you who has fulfilled the requirements of the appropriate bachelor's degree with all the rights and privileges thereto. Baccalaureate graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left side of your cap. This signifies the completion of your undergraduate degree. Congratulations, you may be seated. Before we close, we have important acknowledgements for those who made this ceremony possible today. Sign language interpretation of today's ceremony is provided by Julia Verac and Stephanie Eisman from the Bob Murphy Access Center. I would also like to thank our conductor, Dr. Espinoza of the Bob Cole Conservatory Brass Ensemble, comprised of advanced brass students in the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. Yeah. 
We also thank the university commencement team for the tremendous planning efforts that went into making today possible. Most of all, we would like to thank you, the students, the students that we are all gathered here today to celebrate, the students who persevered through a pandemic and so many other challenges. You are now the latest and the greatest liberal arts graduates from the beach. Thank you. Congratulations. Go CLA and go beach. Will the audience please remain seated until the recessional has been completed? Thank you for being with us today on this tremendously special occasion. Let the recessional begin. Thank <laughs> you.